All right, hey guys. So today I'll be taking a look at the Movavi Video Editor Plus 14, which is essentially a video editing program that you can find on Steam. This is great for beginners. It's very easy to learn, very easy to use. So let's go ahead and launch it up and I'll just be playing around with it. Let's uh, add a media file. I'm gonna add a uh, video clip of a game recording of uh, Music Racer that I did the other day. And then we're just gonna chop this down to about 30 seconds or so just to make it a little bit easier to work with and we're going to go ahead and just cut the clip here boop and then we'll delete the second half of the clip and we'll make this a little bit bigger and now we have a nice little 30 second clip of some gameplay so in the top right corner you can see the preview window you can watch your video back in real time and you can see which edits you've uh, created Pause that. Uh, down here is a bunch of little tools that you'll use for editing purposes. So let's go ahead and clip this video up a little bit so that I can add some transitions to show you guys what the transitions look like. Uh, so I'll just do a couple more. And I think we're good. There's also a rotation button, so you can rotate the clip if you like. There's a crop button. There's color adjustments, so you can adjust the color, the brightness, the color contrast, and so forth. Uh, there's a button here called the Transition Wizard, which you can use to automatically add transitions between each one's your, one of your clips, which saves a little bit of time. So there's all sorts of various sliding transitions, some 3D effects, some blur effects, and some other interesting transitions that you can place in your video to add a little bit of it. So yeah, pretty neat. There's a bunch of different transitions on the sidebar here. There's a place for the transitions. You can actually see a little preview before you add them to your video. So if you wanted to add them manually, all you'd have to do is click on it and drag it onto the timeline. You can also add multiple video tracks into the timeline and multiple audio um, multiple audio tracks as well. So you can layer the tracks on top of each other, which is quite nice. Uh, there's also um, various effects or what would you call these filters that you can add to your video as well. There's a bunch of different filters here. I'm just gonna go to featured and let's add glowing edges. This one's kind of cool looking. We'll add that to the third clip and then let's go ahead and play it again and see what that looks like. <laughs> Go ahead and pause that. Uh, the third little button here is titles. So you can add an intro and they actually have animated intros, which makes making an intro for YouTube so much easier than it would be if you did it yourself. So you can see things like this, you can add to the beginning of your um, video. There's actually a bunch of them. Those are just the featured ones. Um, but let's just go back to the featured and I think I'll add one to my video. We'll see what they look like, uh, all sorts of interesting ones. So I think I'm gonna add this one to my video, the perfect intro forever. We'll just put this over here and then we're gonna go ahead and just edit this in the preview window. And I'm just gonna change this to the Gaming Taylor intro. And it's a little bit too big, so we're going to have to uh, make it a little bit larger. And I'm gonna have to figure out how to, um, let's see, how do I do this? I'm gonna figure out how to move it, there we go. So I can center it onto the circle. And there we go, so there's my intro. Let's go ahead and play it and see what it looks like in the video. Kind of a nice little intro there. Might move it a little bit to the left so it doesn't pop up right at the beginning. Yeah, I like that, pretty cool. So yeah, this is a great little program to make uh, YouTube intros as well. Um, let's just make it a little bit shorter. And then over here, you can add various stickers, various pictures onto video clips. I don't know why you'd wanna do that. Uh, here you can add callouts or various like arrows and circles. If you wanted to highlight something in the video, you can add that uh, onto the clip. And then as you can see, this will be like a little animated circle that plays and basically use that to showcase something that you might want your viewers to see. Um, there's a bunch of other options as well. There's animations, pan and zoom, stabilization, uh, chroma key. Chroma key is quite nice if you have a green screen or if you want to uh, cut out something in a video. Uh, that's a great little feature there. They also have some interesting things up at the top in the settings and preferences. They have OpenGL and they also have hardware acceleration. So you can have Intel hardware acceleration or uh, NVIDIA. So if you have a NVIDIA graphics card, this will drastically reduce the time it takes to render a file. And that's essentially all there is to it. There's a bunch more various effects and so forth. 
But this is essentially all you really need to make a video. Uh, there's also this button here, I think I skipped over this, but you can actually add your own commentary over a video clip. So there is recording available, so you can use your microphone to record over a clip. And there's also audio adjust adjustments and so forth to raise and lower the audio. You can also speed up a clip or you can speed up the audio file or uh, make it faster, slower, or change the audio effects as well. So overall, this is a great program if you're looking to get started into making or editing uh, YouTube videos and so forth. In the bottom right corner, there is an export button and there's a bunch of different options here, but the, the best one to use is right at the top, MP4, and then you click your quality, good, high, or highest. Higher quality just means larger file sizes. So it really it's really up to you. Um, basically, it determines the bit rate of a video. So videos that are like extremely fast paced, like first person shooters, you might want to put it on highest. And then videos that are a little bit slower, like 2D games, you, you could put it on good and you can get away with it. Um, there's also advanced settings here. You want to make sure the video codec is H.264. That's pretty much the best video uh, encoding codec. You can also change the resolution if you want higher resolution and you can change the frame rate and so forth. So all the settings you would expect from a higher end video editing program is in this uh in this uh, video editor, which is quite nice. So let's go ahead and click start. You can also link your YouTube video up with the program if you want to automatically upload uh, your files to YouTube. You can do that through the sharing section. Uh, but yeah, we'll just wait until this is done and then we'll play it. Okay, so this is the finished product. I love the intro, it looks fantastic. Uh, the video quality looks excellent. There's really no complaints I have with the exporting process, the rendering process. Looks great to me, um, basically the same as what it was before, just with some added transitions and some effects. So overall, I feel like this program is very well made, uh, pretty powerful, um, definitely a good program to take a look at. The Movavi Video Editor Plus 14. One thing I should say though, it does have a hefty price tag at $60. This is of course a lot cheaper than things like Vegas Pro and Premiere Pro, um, but if you don't have the money for those programs and you're looking into video editing for the first time, you might want to check out Movavi Video Editor. Uh, it seems to work pretty well for me. It's very simple, very easy to learn, and uh, has a lot of cool animations and transitions and so forth. So that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.